Back in the early days of the channel, I did a bit of experimenting with kite antennas. There were two videos came out on that. The first one was a bit of a disaster. Um, the wire actually broke and I lost the kite over the horizon. Uh, the second attempt was a bit more successful. And I think I actually said at the time in the video that I'd like to try it from a SOTA summit. So I'm out in Wales today. I'm at the uh, parking location for Wan Vark. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Someone will probably correct me. And uh, I've been here once before. I didn't film it, but uh, came here once before. And it, there's quite a lot of space up there. Not many people. So ideal candidate for kite antenna. So I brought the kite with me. There's a little bit of a breeze today. I'm hoping it'll be a bit more, uh, a bit more blowy up on the summit. So uh, we're going to attempt to activate this SOTA summit using a kite antenna today. And uh, it's the second highest SOTA summit in the southwest region of Wales. So should also be quite good for two meters. So primarily I want to try the kite antenna today, but if I get time, we'll uh, have a little bit of fun on two meters as well. So I'm coming at this slightly different route this time. When I've uh, done this summit in the past, I've come at it from the eastern side, which is up by the reservoir. Now, once you uh, pass the reservoir, it's quite a steep climb up a bit of a rough slope and there's no real path. So I've found another route. I'm trying to come at it from the west this time. So there's a little bit of parking just off to the side of the road here and uh, a bridleway goes up and it looks like there's a track all the way across the uh, across the summit. So I'm hoping this route should be a little bit easier. It's a bit longer, but it should be a bit easier. Right, so I'm on the summit of Van Vark. Thoughts about the route from the west. Now, it is a much longer route than uh, coming from the east, but it's not as steep a gradient. But because it's a much longer route, it did feel like quite a, quite a long slog uphill. Um, I guess it swings and roundabouts. Now, it's blowing an absolute hooli up here, which, uh, apologies if the uh, camera's waving around a bit. It's, uh, like I say, we've got a bit of a strong wind up here. I'm hoping it's not going to be too much for the kite. I was a bit concerned when I uh, parked the car up because down in the valley it was absolutely dead calm, but uh, I get up here and uh, it's, uh, we must be blowing about 20, 30 miles an hour, which according to the manufacturers of the kite, that's, um, that is the maximum wind speed for that kite. So fingers crossed we don't overdo it. Um, the other problem we got is, uh, as you can see, I'm just surrounded in cloud. We, I am literally in the cloud here, um, which means once the uh, kite gets up in the air, you're not going to be able to see it. So it's not going to look good on video. So what I'm hoping is uh, if I bide my time a little bit, I mean, we're quite early in the morning. We're only about a quarter to nine at the moment. So I'm hoping sort of 10, 11 o'clock, uh, the cloud will start to burn off and the cloud base will start to lift. Um, I have got the drone with me, so I thought it would be really nice to get a shot of the uh, kite in the air from the drone, but um, I don't know if the drone's going to uh, survive this wind. So really what I need is enough wind to get the kite in the air, but not so much to it takes the drone out of the air. So we'll see how we go on that one. Okay, I'll give you a quick rundown of the setup then. So uh, to hold the uh, whole lot down, stop the kite blowing away, I'm using one of these uh, stakes. This is one of these spiral stakes that you screw into the ground to attach your dog to. And then um, this here comes up. You can see I've just attached my 49 to one there and uh, got an insulator there. And then I'm using um, antenna wire, but it's reinforced with Kevlar. So it should, should be strong enough to stop the kite blowing away. But as a safety measure, I've got proper kite string here as well, which will definitely uh, hold on to the kite. So uh, that's kind of my backup. I'm hoping I won't need to rely on that. I'm hoping the antenna wire will be strong enough. Um, so that goes up there. You won't be able to see it from the ground, but up there is, Oh, you might just see it is another one of those insulators and then uh, it attaches to the kite string and the kite is way up there in the clouds it's a bit difficult to see and then uh, got my um, rg58 coming off it's not actually attached to anything at the moment but uh, i've got the uh, icom 703 with me um, which I bought because it's got a tuner, but I'm not, I'm not going to need it. It's giving a lovely SWR. I, 
I perhaps trimmed the uh, wire a tiny bit shorter than I should have done, but uh, it's still uh, still about 1.2, 1.3 to 1, so it's still a perfectly good SWR. Um, the one thing I will say is uh, if you are going to do this, make sure that you've got some way of bleeding the uh, static to ground, because the uh, these kite antennas can pick up quite a bit of static. You see on my uh, transformer here, I've got a wire comes out. This um, this ground terminal here is a direct connection to uh, at DC at least. It's a direct short to the antenna connection, and then that wire comes out. And I'm using the ground as a uh, as an earthing stake as well. So I've just got the uh, got that wire clipped on there. Um, this is uh, tuned for 20 meters, so I thought I'd start small. It's half wave on 20 meters. Uh, we'll see how this goes, and then uh, if this works well, I might try it on 40 or maybe even 80. We'll uh, see how we go. Well, the good news is that the mist is starting to lift, and uh, I'll give you a view of the setup from a bit further back. So, using the uh, ICOM 703 there, and uh, there's my 49 to 1 attached to my anchor with a bit of string and uh, antenna wire up there, half wave for uh, 20 meters. And uh, there's an insulator there, then it attaches to the string and goes up to the kite up the top, which uh, I can't actually see on the camera. I can, I can see it physically now, but I can't see it on the camera. And then uh, down here, a bit of um, safety string. Like I said, I'm not sure I completely trust that wire not to snap. So I've uh, just put that bit of uh, kite string there as a safety measure, really, just uh, in case the wire does snap. Sota, CQ Sota, CQ Summits on the Air, Mike Whiskey Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable. Mike Whiskey Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable, calling CQ Sota, CQ Summits on the Air, standing by for any calls. Fox Pot 4, Whiskey Bravo November, America. Uh, Fox 4, uh, Whiskey Bravo November, uh, Christian, a good uh, good morning to you, 5 9. <laughs> Roger, Roger. A very good morning to you. Fox Pot 4, Whiskey Bravo November. You're very nice and strong. 59 plus 10, over. 73 and uh, QRZ. Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo. Uh, Echo Alpha 1, Delta Hotel Bravo. Good morning, 59. Okay, good morning, good, good morning, uh, fine night, fine night, very good signal for North Spain. Thank you for coming, my friend. Good shot up. Bye bye. Thank you very much, my friend. 73, thank you for the contact. Uh, who was the uh, portable station? There was a portable station. Go ahead. Sierra Papa 6, Sierra Uniform Delta, Stroke Portable. Sierra Papa 6, Sierra Uniform Delta, Stroke Portable. Roger, roger. Sierra Papa 6, Sierra Uniform Delta, portable, uh, about 5758. Call it 58 for the log, over. QSL, QSL, you're 57 as well, 57. Very, thank you very much for the contact and enjoy the great spot, Alex. Florida 6, Florida November Alpha. Uh, uh, Florida 6, Florida November Alpha 59. Roger, Roger, Florida 6, Florida, November Alpha, good morning, thank you for my report 5-9, you are 5 on 7, 57, thank you for the summer, have a nice day on 73. Thank you for the 5-7, thank you for the contact, 7-3, uh, QRZ. Uh, Sierra 5-7, India, Lima, Foxtrot, I think that was... Uh, not so strong, about a 4 and 4, about a 4-4. Four, four. OK, Sierra 5-7, India Lima Fox, Italy. Uh, good morning, you're coming 4x4, four 4x4, four. Four four. thank you, bye-bye. Question mark 7, Alpha Whiskey Hotel, go again. Charlie, Sierra 7, Alpha Whiskey Hotel, KSL. QSL, QSL, got you that time. Charlie, Sierra 7, Alpha Whiskey Hotel, 5-7, uh, 5-7 five, seven, five, seven with me. Uh, good morning, you are Alpha 5-7, here in Northern Portugal. QSL. QSL, the 5-7, my friend. Thank you very much for the contact into uh, 
into Portugal. Nice contact there. Seven three. CQ Sota, CQ Sota, CQ Summits on the air. Mike Whiskey Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable. Mike Whiskey Zero, Golf Quebec, Charlie Portable. Calling CQ Sota, standing by for any calls. <laughs> Uh, Florida 4, Echo Whiskey, I think that was uh, Kilowatt, was it Portable? Okay, my call sign, Florida 4, Echo Whiskey, Kilowatt, Portable. Roger, Roger, Fox 4, Echo Whiskey, Kilo, Portable, uh, 5, 6, 56 for you. Okay, Roger, for you, 5, 9, 59, 76 with uh, good activity, Sota. Roger, the 5.9. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you for the contact. 7.3. Okay, so just finished on uh, 20 metres and I had a really nice little pile-up going there. This, uh, I thought this would work well because kite antennas generally do, but uh, that worked far better than I expected. So uh, really, really happy with that. I'm on my way back down the mountain. Just uh, stopped for a bit of a break, a bit of lunch. I'm not that far from the car now. And uh, all morning we've been in cloud. And I said earlier, I hoped that later on it would clear. Well, it did clear. And uh, if you look around us now, it's absolutely lovely, but uh, it cleared about two or three hours later than I hoped it would. So, uh, hey ho, that's always the way. Um, in terms of the antenna, worked absolutely spectacularly and uh, very happy with that. It was 21 contacts on 20 meters in the space of 20 minutes. So, uh, very happy with that. I'd, I'd actually like to scale it up and try it on 40, maybe, maybe even 80 if I can get away with it. We have um, height restrictions here in the uh, UK as to how high we can send a uh, kite up. So uh, I, I might just get away with it on 80. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look at the, reg uh, a look at the regulations, but uh, certainly 40 I'd like to do from a SOTA summit. So uh, we'll look into doing that in a future video on a different summit. 